Hello all, this is Darth Ravage07 coming at you tonight with another quick review. This time is, uh, if I got like Scourge on the table and Seclanus on the table and some of other guys like Hot uh, Cup and Jazz, I had to have this guy, of course. I got lucky and was able to snag Hot Rod. He was box was next to another box that had cup, jazz, and blur. And uh, I got jazz the day before out of that box. This box was next to this box of three. I think it was like two hot rods and a scourge per bo uh, box that came in. And uh, I was able to snag this guy without hesitation. Uh, I was supposed to be getting this in scourge from a CMD store. And it finally did ship just uh, about a day or so ago. And uh, <laughs> a little too late, but I'll use the Scourge as my one of three, or be two of three. And so whenever I get a third one, then I'll have my Scourge and his Huntsman. And then I'm going to get another Cyclonus eventually. And then have his Armada. So anyway, out of what we've seen, you know, get reformatted on screen during the 86 movie that'd be a fitting let's look a closer look at this he is 8604 there's him getting ready to open the matrix and hot rod lights the darkest hour i too like i said i was getting this before uh christmas hopefully order placed december 3rd i watched everybody and their brother get this and get their light there have their darkest hours of 2020 lighted by this excellent miniature masterpiece and i guess good things come to those who wait and because i did get a hold of it and was able to snag it off the shelf right there at the reset and uh anyway looks like he's got the depths of unicron as his background where he fights galvatron before opening the matrix and uh doing some really cool stuff there uh, i can't wait to just go ahead and get this guy open and there's the bottom of the box and the top has the transformer the movie 86 logo and it's glory that's what is on the cover of my vhs that is so faded that i used to watch to do laundry in my early days of uh when I, whenever it was my day to do laundry back in the day uh so we just kind of take turns at it still this day, 20 something years later. But uh, I'm going to crack this guy open and uh, get to the bottom of it. See all this stuff. I'm going to do this last, last time here with, uh, with the six, uh, Series 86. And this Grimlock and uh, some other ones give me some really cool reason to do the background or whatnot. Give me just a moment, please. Let's get this guy out of package. And here is Hot Rod with his instruction manual. Red and black is the order of the day. And uh, just amazed by how many steps he goes through to get. There's 24 on that side. Number 25. Holy Chrisnolis. So there's 29 all together, it looks like. And then it's got some other configurations for the weapons and the flames and all the other little accessories. Looks like it goes through that pretty thoroughly. But there's your main ones right there. Matrix and a little comic blast there. And his casemate is Scourge. Zero five. Well, let's uh, lay that aside a second and free him from his confines there. One moment, please. There's just something. About this figure. <laughs> I just don't know, man. First time he holds that up above his head with that backdrop. 
lighting my darkest hours of this pandemic. This guy is truly special. Let me get him in his car mode, do some comparisons, then we'll come back to robot mode, do some more comparisons, and finish off with the final thoughts. Thank you again for watching, everybody. This has been, like I said, 35 years in the making with these videos of these Studio Series 86 Transformers the Movie figures. And uh, he just feels really good in hand right out of the box. First impressions. So, okay. One moment, please. And that was a lot more sophisticated than I anticipated. And here is Hot Rod with his spinning blade of doom on top of his dual mounted weapons there on his engine block. We take a lap around, we get the little flame effects coming out of the back end of the hot rod mode. I love how all this collapses and condenses and so on and so forth. Anyway, uh, feels really solid, rolls really good. This is not a Voyager class figure. Sold at a Voyager class pass point. This is a deluxe, very much so. And uh, it's just a little bit aggravating, but hey, let's roll with it. As you can see, him and Cup do fit right there together, right along the side of Jazz. It's just a little bit bigger, <laughs> feels like. Anyway, in certain ways, Hot Rod feels bigger, in certain ways, does feels bigger. Uh, yeah, I love yawning. Okay, that's because I'm trying to do this late at night, and I shouldn't be trying to rush or get through this. But uh, anyway, I love how all that works out, and so on and so forth. Let's get a let's get rid of this stuff right here because it's just. I don't think it's extra ever, ever, ever some other mode I'm going to ever do that again. <laughs> just, I think I'm in there good. It's because it's paint sticking. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's get the rest of the other brother in there. Outside of... There's Wheelie. Legends class. RC. Let's do blur there. And these guys, they do look good together. Earthrise RC is like my least favorite. And this is a tough, tough call between Jazz Hot Rod Cup and even Blur. Because these four have blown me away in ways I didn't ever think I'd be blown away. Alright, let me get it back into robot moods. And, uh,. I'll finish off this quick review. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching. Till all are one, hang on one second, please. And don't forget to hit those links down below in the description. Subscribe to my channel. I want to try to get up to 200 before. Uh, I think I can get to 200. I'd like to try to get it there before the end of February. I'd like to get more, but we'll, we'll go. We'll get 200 and then we'll worry about the next. One second, please. Turbo Revan Young Punk will straighten you out yet. Hot Rod just looks amazing in every angle that you go to do stuff with him. I'm a little bit afraid to get into his head and <laughs> get his visor out tonight. And this is a little bit problematic. Maybe I just don't got something just right. It sticks really good on one leg. Like how it folds up onto the back and and where stuff gets stowed away easily out of sight out of mine and the backpack's done the best of of any hot rod yet they got the shoulders to where you can do all the uh, <laughs> accommodating poses for holding a matrix he's got a little pin in each fist to where you can display that matrix of leadership off just the right way uh got the fire blast in there obviously let's knock those off right now She's curious to see some. Oh yeah, he's got the accommodating wrist swivels and stuff, and he's got a little tight clearance there at his shoulders, but it, it does just fine. And uh, you can pretty much 
get his most brashes of brash, you know, hand, hands on his hips and pose that way. And uh, he looks great, man, amongst the other Autobots there. And uh, Wheelie, <laughs> I just uh, don't want to go dig Springer around and try to transform him on top of everything else. Uh, that transformation for Hot Rod is absolutely everything's well thought out, compact, like everybody else has been saying, along with myself. These are many masterpieces, and I look for them to redo uh, this mo this this thing right here as Revision Three for Hot Rod, and maybe uh, Rodimus Prime. And I can't wait to see Rodimus Prime. Uh, you know, get a figure for the King, for, not Kingdom, but for Studio Series 86. And hopefully he'll be done with the glory that they did with all these other bots here in this line. Uh, they wanted to, I guess she was a precursor to the whole, uh, her and Springer. Springer was first, then her, and then boom, here comes all these other ones out here. So then we've got all the movie bots. And even though she's a shelf former with her crowd there, I'm um, willing to make an exception until the hopefully Keenum will have a better Earth mode uh, RC, but we'll see. Uh, this just looks immaculate, and I can't wait to get a hold of Grimlock to finish off this group. Uh, what do you guys think about this set? Uh, is it worth 30 bucks? Uh, I really did play it smartly because as you can see he's not much bigger than the rest of them he's no voyager class he's definitely a deluxe he looks like a voyager class in that box the way he's just big and boom and they got all those accessories and then you get it out and he's no bigger than the rest of them but i mean it's like i said in an earlier video with cup it's gonna be neat to see how they incorporate the whole shebang together with all that said and done. Please visit my vacation links down below there in the description. Uh, also, like, comment, let me know how you guys are liking this uh, 86 Studio Series and Kingdom stuff. I and many others that are my age and what have you. We've been waiting for 35 years, so this is ever so bittersweet. And, uh, Thanks again for watching. You guys have a great night until all are one. Every one of these Studio Series 86 figures have been, they all get a high, highly recommended for me. So, I mean, all right, guys. Good night.